Hello everyone. How are you guys? <laughs> What's going on? Um, give me a second. Let me just put some pants on because I just jumped on live on a whim and I was like, let me jump on live. But I wanted to talk about the title in this video. It says, I feel alone in this spiritual journey. And I'm going to do something for everybody that's in here <clears throat> so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at these akashic cards because i want to see i'm not really doing readings right now but i'm gonna use them while i'm talking to you guys because i like to get the messages from spirit uh, again i said i have no pants on so give me a second i have no panties on hold on one second let me put this here so done. All right. So why why did I put the title? I feel alone in this um in this spiritual journey. I'm gonna tell you why. Ugh, the fuck. All right. So I'm gonna tell you why I put the title. I feel alone in this spiritual journey. I'll tell you why right now. And uh, as soon as oh, okay, I sorry, I don't like to put my feet on the bed if they're not completely wiped. One second. Make sure you can't see my underwear. <laughs> Are we good? You can't see my underwear? Okay, great. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, just put it on my face. Okay. So this is... I'm going to talk about why... <sighs> How's the energy? As soon as I got in here, you guys, with your energies. Uh, sometimes when I tap in here... <laughs> sometimes when I tap in here with you guys, the energy is wild. Mm. So, since there's only 20 people in here, I was going to do a clubhouse and private readings, but a lot of people don't have, um, jam out with your clam out. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I was going to do, um, uh, the clubhouse thing and I was going to do like readings for just us. Um, but a lot of people don't have, um, iPhones. And so I decided to just jump on uh, Instagram real quick, which how are you going to make an app and you people got to have an iPhone to get on it? Um, you work with the government much? No, I'm just kidding. Shady much? I don't trust you, Clubhouse. <laughs> no. But seriously, like, how are you going to have a whole ass app and then you're not going to let people fucking go on it because they don't got an iPhone? That's fucking, that's discrimination. Okay. Yeah, I know. Hold on, guys. Okay. Just make sure my... my... <laughs> My tooth guy is not showing. Like, <laughs> okay, great, awesome. Blanket. <laughs> Let's cover the video. I have underwear on, but they're see through. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I left my vape all the way over there. Okay. Anyway. All right. So I was gonna. <laughs> Let's go back to Uvu. What is Uvu? What's Uvu? So like that's so weird. Like because I wanted to like get on there like and just, you know vibe out with people and like just do like a few people and do readings because. I love to give readings. It's like one of my favorite things. And actually I get a lot of, um, a lot of self healing and also, um, practice. Okay. So I'm just going to go through the signs and I'm going to give everybody one message. There's not that many people in here, so it's good. Cause I, I'm not doing this for, for that. But, um, so uh, first, first things first, <clears throat> before I even pull the Akashic and I'm going to read you guys this. Okay. So for each sign, I'm going to pull one. I'm going to pull one for each sign. I cannot breathe. Relax. This is not that kind of reading. Everybody calm down. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, um, okay. I wanted, so I wanted to talk about, um, oh, you guys like my nails? They're pretty. I got them done today. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like nails that look like you don't have them. And then they're like, you, they're from far away. It looks like I have no nails, right? And then it's like a tip of purple, but they're pretty. Okay. So the reason why. I titled this, I feel alone in my spiritual journey is because um, to pick, to pick, so not to pick, let me think of the right words to say here. Okay. Ubu was the OG before Zoom, Zoom took over. Um, it's the cover. <laughs> I'm gonna blame everything on the government. It's the government, no. But anyway, um, the reason why I picked this uh, title, 
those of you who under, will understand this are actually people who um, chose to go on a spiritual healing journey. And I'm not talking about like actually go on a journey. You chose to have a healing journey inside of your spirit, like your mind. And you decided to like finally like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find out who I am. I'm going to heal. I'm going to... It's like a healing journey, right? A healing spiritual journey. <laughs> FBI agents, bro. Hi, I, hi, FBI agent. How are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we love you. I know it's not you. You're you're brainwashed right now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Don't drink the tea. Okay. So um, we we got you. Just come to our community. We will take care of you, FBI agent. Just tell us all your secrets. And if not, we'll murder you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, all right, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. I'm trying to be Sarah's, huh? I'm trying to be Sarah's. Have a Sarah's question, serious question. I've been trying to have a Sarah's conversation all that. Seriously, I'm trying to talk about some spiritual journey. Okay, seriously, stop, stop. Okay, so what I'm saying is the reason why I titled this a spiritual journey. Oh my god. Who's that? Okay, I'm as will give you the baklava. <laughs> There's some cafe turque. Okay, so the reason why I titled this journey, this journey, guys, stop laughing. Seriously, keep it serious for five minutes. All right, I'm trying to like seriously like do something serious here. But seriously, I know they be peeping my browser history and it's like, what the fuck? How to get away with murder? No, I'm just kidding. Is acid a way to kill someone, or do you just ruin their face? I don't want to murder them. I just want to ruin their face. I mean, um. How to slash your ex-boyfriend's tires without leaving evidence. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so adorable. Love it. I love you too. Okay. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I was going to say some shit. <sighs> well, my shit would be, my Google would look like this. My search engine. Um, getting stabbed by a knife. Dream meaning. <laughs> Snake having sex with you. Dream meaning. <laughs> I had a dream last night. I had a dream. No, I seriously had a dream last night that New York was underwater. And I saw the Statue of Liberty in the middle of it. And I woke up screaming, crying. I was like, <sighs> so I didn't know if it was like, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a revelation or, but then again, okay, so. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my undies. All right, so I don't know if it was a revelation or what, but, um, <laughs> my ass. Okay, I don't know if it was a revelation or what, but I will say something. <laughs> oh my God. I got away with it. Nobody saw my booty. Good. <sighs> so if it was up to me, I'd be walking around with shirt. Everybody who knows me and is my friend, they know I don't. I don't wear pants. <laughs> I don't like pants. Okay, pants off, dance off. So I had a dream that all of New York was underwater, and I woke up screaming, crying. Oh my God! And I was crying over my daughter. I thought she was lost. I didn't know if it was a revelation or then. In the dream, I told my aunt, I go to her, I said, you have to move. Come to find out, like my sister-in-law was telling me that my aunt um, is thinking about moving because the market, they're saying that the house is de becoming less valuable and it was worth so much more and then the value dropped. <sighs> like the market's going to flood, maybe. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, right? Babe, girl, I love you. <laughs> All right, so... um. What do you think? Look at that. This is how I stay away from eating food at night, guys, by the way. Number one, I love crushed ice. It's my favorite. If you ever want to make me happy, I don't want jewelry, diamonds, or gold. I want a fucking a cup of crushed ice with lemon squeezed into it. <laughs> I love it. Look at uh, Ooh. That tongue moved pretty fast, girl. Mm, baby. Okay. <clears throat> and so I'm just going to say something real quick. Let me just, you know, throw the shade real quick. Like, because, like, I got to say something because, yo, I can't fucking take it home, all right? I sat here and had a... First of all, okay. <sighs> I had a whole conversation with myself earlier about not dating people anymore. And I'm done with it. Like, I'm over it. And like, I fucking swear, I was like, Mira, stop laughing. I swear, I was like, I was like, I'm going to be single forever because like the guys that like me, here's how it works. Who else has, who else can say I? Raise your hand if you can, if you can attend, attest to this or resonate with it. 
the guys that like you, that you like, they're either, and you guys have talked and you find out they're married or something like that, right? They're either married or like taken or something, right? And you're like, whoa, no, well, the smart ladies will be like, no, 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 you're married. Like, mm -mm, not, not, not in this lifetime. Um, they're either like that or the guys that really, really like me, I don't like them. Same thing with girls, guys, girls, whatever. So whoever is um, understanding what I'm saying. So <clears throat> no way you will not. She says, uh, I've got to say lately, the exes have been like ex people have been have been just come. Oh, there we go. So I just got a text from somebody from my, I just got a text from somebody from the past. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> like, you know, I'm talking childhood shit. Like, people just, I don't know where it's talking about. How you doing? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So, it's like, um, the guys that I do like, or the women that I do like, take me. <laughs> Miss Mira. Mira, girl. I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm a lot. I'm not easy. I'm not easy as to be with, but you know what it is? I'm, here's what I'm, let me, let me try to get the words out of my mouth properly, because, hi, Anna, here we go. Let me get the words out of my mouth properly. So I found in relationships, the men that I'm attracted to, they're either not available, but still trying to hit on me and I'm not with all that, right? Like you're, you're in a relationship, stop trying to hit on me. That's like fucked up and weird. And then I lose total respect for you, right? And I'm not just gonna sleep with you because you're hot. Like that's not, <laughs> sorry buddy, like I get dick thrown at me all day long. I don't need yours, you know what I'm saying? So I knew like me <laughs> said trip. So um so the people um so the people that I do like, they you know, they're taken, you know, they'll have me tomorrow. I'll be like, leave your wife to look, like, okay. But I'm not doing nothing like that. That's grimy ladies do not do that. Okay, if a guy is with somebody, just leave them alone. Leave them alone, okay? Um, you know, it's different if they get divorced and all that, whatever. And then the guys that really, really, really like me, like, I'm talking about, like, immediately, like, I want to be your man, like, let's get together, like, what do you need, um, do you need your bills paid, like, and I'm like, like, that's, first of all, none of that's gonna impress me, but it's nice to have a guy do that, because it makes them look, like, manly, and I like it, but, you know, um, that's not what gets a girl like me, I don't know about other girls, but you could flash a million dollars in front of me, and I'm just gonna look at you like, that's great congratulations you have money that's awesome that's what i'm trying to get like i'm trying to be that so i'm kind of not going to be impressed by it i'm kind of be like motivated from it so thank you for motivating me but it's not like impressing me in that way unless you're like how about this ma you don't even gotta hustle here's 20 g's 20 g's what's up here's 100 g's because 20 g's really <laughs> won't even buy you a car these days <laughs> but here's 100 g's and go start your business and you know what i'm saying if you want to pay me back you can and if you can't it's okay too that would be a different <laughs> flow right so what i'm trying to say is because you, if you listen to the words what i'm saying you're on you'll understand what i'm trying to say i'm not talking about guys and in particular like material shit and all that i don't care none of that impresses me loyalty does respect but here's the thing the guys that like me they got money they got loyalty they got respect and they they want to like be with me and like marry me but i don't i'm not attracted to them and i don't like specific I'm not finding things wrong with people, but if you got, let's, let me, let's just say, even if your breath smells like this much, like the first time we hanging out, especially if I smell something, if I smell your breath the first time we're hanging out, we, I'm not giving you a second chance. <laughs> like it's the first time we're hanging out, the first date, we might go in for a kiss, like at least let your breath be on point, my G. If you're not going to be good looking and tall and nice body, have good breath, be clean and dress right. And the rest of it, we could work around. Like we could work around because sometimes somebody don't have to be that good looking. You fall in love with their characteristics. And what I mean by not good looking is your type, right? Because you got people that are, that are good looking that other people don't think are good looking. Everybody's got their opinion. Everybody chooses um, a different type of person, right? So like I said, the ones that do like me, they have money. They, I've never dated bum guys. Like if I did, um, it was like for like a couple of weeks and I was over it, you know. But like I've never dated like a bummy dude. Like they always had nice cars, always had their own place. They had good jobs. They finished school. They were those kind of guys. Like I didn't finish school. I got my GED. You know what I'm saying? Like they were like ner smart, nerdy people. Like 
it's weird. It's just weird. But I always ended up being attracted to guys like that who are responsible because I was I was responsible financially, but I was crazy, right? So it's like I don't know. It's, I like good boys, right? Because I was bad, and I was like, if I'm with a bad boy and then I'm a bad girl together, we're gonna murder people. <laughs> like we're gonna be on fucking TV talking about the couple is loose again, like. They would have made a movie about me and a thug. Like, I stood away from mobster, gangster people. Like, I would have some gangster motherfuckers like me. Like, I'm talking like... I'm fucking gangster. Like, I'm talking gangster. Okay, like, I'm talking not, like, gangster. I'm talking like, gangster. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll shoot you if you look at their wife kind of gangster. So, like, they always were attracted to me. Like, every time. I would get letters from guys in jail all the time. They're like... Don't worry, Ma, I'm the boss in here. I'm the king. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, God, why are you doing this to me? Is there something about my aura that tells these guys I will kill people with them? I think so. So they're like, yeah, I know you be my ride and die, bitch, for life. You know, how did this go from being alone in a spiritual journey? Okay, but let's just, it's all got a point to it, right? There's a method to my madness. So just please be patient with my retardedness. So old school G's. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about those like scary motherfuckers that you just don't even want to look their way. Like the second you look at them, you're like, oh shit, don't look at him. He's, there's something not right in there, you know? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You got to be my type. You got to be able to vibe. I, meet, vibe. I meet so many women that are attractive, my type, but the vibe wasn't there. So I had to cut it off. Exactly what I'm saying to you. I am a ride or die and they see that in me. You know, if an ultimate gangster is writing to me from prison and they're <laughs> the boss of the prison to the point where they can have money sent to me through prison, that's on some next level shit. So, but like, I stopped talking to them. Like, I was like, oh, I'm like, I can't. But yeah, it was cute for like two days and then I was like, I was scared. I was like, oh my God, this motherfucker, he's gonna have me trapping next. I'm gonna be driving $10,000 worth of drugs to Arizona. I can't. Like, and I know I would too because I'm not afraid of anything. But anyway, the point is, the point is, I'm glad that I didn't do none of that because thank God, right? Um, I always ended up dating good boys. But they always had their shit together. Like, they had money saved. They were smart. They did things the legal way, but smart, right? Um, a room tour. That, as soon as you say. There's nothing here. See, the room is like plain. Very plain. Plain Jane. Simple, simple, simple. Relaxo. Esta relaxa, I got my little thing there, my little calendar there, my little TV there, and my little spiritual stuff there, and then this shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, and then the closet is over there, okay? Okay. If a guy asks you for money, hang with it. Okay, so here's the thing. I do not mind paying for things when I'm with a guy. I don't. I, I will take a guy out to dinner and lunch, but... I do mind if I offer and you don't at least argue with me. I got it. I got it. I got it. If you just let me pay, it's kind of a test. And I'm going to pay regardless. And I'm not going to be mad that I paid. Listen, I came out with $300 in my pocket. That's not a lot of money, but it is in the regular world. And I live in both worlds. The regular world. The, I live in all worlds, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm all. I'm everything. I'm everyone. So I will go out with $300 ready to spend money, right? Ready to even go to a restaurant that's going to be like $250. I don't give a fuck. It's $250. Who cares? It's just money, right? It comes right back to me. Anyway, I don't worry about money no more because I stopped doing that. <clears throat> but if I'm paying for something and you don't at least, at least do the... I don't care if you're my friend, a guy I just started going on a date. If you don't at least push my hand one time, because you're not going to win. I'm going to fight you. Like, no. Uh, I'm going to push your hand out the way. I'm like, I got it. Don't. I will push, move you back. Like, it's going to be that kind of way. And anybody who's ever hung out with me knows that I'm not lying when I say that. This is the truth. I can look at you square in the eyes and tell you that that's... Wait, where's the camera? I'm like, I can look at you square in the eyes. And look at, I do that. And so, like, I don't... I have to be... I have to be with the right people because if not, they'll take advantage of me. And I'll know they're taking advantage of me, but I allow it. You know why? Because I know what's up. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck. So now. <clears throat> I don't mind paying. I don't mind paying. I'm sorry. Um, I hi Anna. You're going to be nice because if I have, I don't want to have to block you. Okay. So just everybody be nice. If we good. We're all getting along. <laughs> cancer is your sun sign Virgo is your rising oh my god that's my daughter's um, thing she's a cancer and a Virgo rising and that's how we are paying for everything but here I've learned today not to be stupid right I, I do it 
for the right reasons. Just know there's like I said, remember there's a motive to everything I do. So like I said, I don't mind paying for the guy, but if he doesn't at least fight me back, it's a problem, right? But I've no I've noticed a pattern in my um dating and I'm starting to notice that. And I'm like, why is it the guys that I've always liked, like 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 liked, they were either taken or like and they liked me or whatever, but it just wasn't able it wasn't possible to happen. And then those guys that are good guys and whatever I'm not fully attracted to them. I have to learn to love them, right? Right. So it's like that learning to love them type of thing, which I don't mind doing too because you can find beautiful qualities about somebody. Over time, people become more beautiful to you and they become more, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> attractive and you start to like them more. And if you guys can hear my cough, the difference of my cough since I quit smoking cigarettes, it's like a, <coughs> before I was like, <coughs> like I was like mucusy and thank God I, I quit cigarettes, man. I'm so happy. But <clears throat> it's weird because this is the kind of experiences I've had. It's the ones that I don't really, really like. They're the ones who are willing to do everything for me, whatever I tell them to do. In short, they would be my little bitch if I told them to. If I told them to bark like a dog, walk backwards, hang their balls from the wall, they would do it. And I mean that. They really would. Mm -hmm. But I don't like that. I don't want somebody like that. I want somebody to kind of like a little bit challenge me, but not like, not challenge me. I do not like to argue because I'm a win. So you might as well just quit. I know it's thank God I, I quit Michael Jackson's brother-in-law. <clears throat> thank God. I don't like to argue. Here's the thing about me. Um, I can argue you under the table. I should have been a lawyer because I, first of all, I fact checked everything. I will fact check everything before I argue with you so that when you try to come at me, I already have an answer pre-planned from 10 days ago. Okay. So I saw this video today. Virgos are the best arguers because they're like lawyers. They write all dates down. Like I'm not going to come at you. If it's not factual, I'm not going to say it to you. We're not going to argue if I'm not saying everything right to you. Hi, did that guy. I'm not going to argue with you if everything that we're arguing about, I'm not right about. If I'm wrong about it, I'm just going to be like, you're right, you're right. I will put my pride to the side and say that you're right. But today I had that conversation. And another thing I was doing today was I let out all this, like, the pain of the world. Like, I was kind of crying in my room. And I'm going to say, as an empath, I do this a lot. And it's weird. It's weird. But I will, like, lay on my bed and just think about all the like sadness in the world and I'll cry, 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 cry and I'll let it all out and I'll tell God, thank you for giving me the courage to know what I can and cannot change and to not letting me feel the pressure of what who I can help and who I can't because as an empath, I want to help everyone. I feel bad for everyone, but I have to learn to listen. Yeah, see, affirm. That's why I said it because I'm sure other people do it too. <clears throat> and so I sat down and I thought about every bad thing that could possibly happen to everyone and I cried, cried, cried and let out so much, right? I did that before I do that a lot, okay, that's a lot of like the shadow, me letting go of the shadow and understanding. Um, <clears throat> I it's, I don't ever feel exhausted now. I used to, Addison, but um, I started to learn to, um, you know, get it together. But it's like when I when I feel pain around me, I will cry it out. I'll cry it out, and then I'll tell myself it's not your pain. It's not your pain. It's not your pain. Hi, Naya. And so you did, Gina. Today must have been one of those days where the collective was feeling that. Mm -hmm. We were all letting go of some sadness, and that's good. And then I recognized another thing. As I was texting back the guy that I, I haven't been on a date in a long time, I told you, and as I was texting back this guy that I went on a date with, I wanted to call him and tell him, like, listen, it's not going to work out, so here's why I had to do that. Like, now, you're thinking, I knew this person before. Now you're thinking, Flo, you went on the first date, and you said that to him? Like, what if he just wanted to go on a date with you and just you know, have sex or whatever. No, that's, I know what he wanted. He wanted to like be with me. And so I had to, first of all, tell him you're not spiritual and you're not into anything that I do spiritually. So it's not going to work out. And, and <clears throat> it's just not going to work out. So that was my main reason. There was other reasons, but I didn't feel like the necessary, like to share that with that person, because I feel like today I'm honest with all my things. And even though I tried to like give things a chance, if they're not working out, I stop it. Right. So I, yeah, I let I let him know like, look, it's not gonna work out. Like, I'm sorry, but I, you know, you're not into the spiritual stuff. And then there's other things about you. There's qualities about you that I don't agree with. And today, I'm gonna do everything that's best for what my spirit agrees with. And he was like, he wrote, he actually sent the voice note, and he said, 
how do you know? He said, how do you know what I want to be? How do you know if I, how do you know I don't want to be, become spiritual? How do you know I don't want to learn from you? And <clears throat> Hayana, how old are you? Are you joking around? Because like, I'm trying to have a serious conversation. Your, your comments are distracting. So um, either you're going to change the comments up or the next one, I'm just going to hide you. I don't want to have to hide you because I like you, you know, but you know, if you're being annoying, I'm, I'm going to block you, whatever, whoever you are. I don't give a fuck. So listen, <clears throat> so I'm telling you this for a reason because it's so right today, ladies and guys, when you meet someone and you see they like you a lot, please tell them right away if you don't like them. Don't lead them on. Don't even do it. Like, you know, we made plans. He was like, it's okay, baby. You're good. You see, we good. That's it. We good. Don't be sorry. I'm just trying to talk. Because I want everybody to understand today, people are not, they're not, hi, um, Yadi. People are not telling the truth anymore and people are getting hurt. So how I feel is you go on the first date with someone, even if it's the first date, I don't care if it sounds crazy. I said to him, it's not going to work out. He goes, first of all, how do you know I wanted to even take this further than like a second and third date? And I said on this on the voice note i said listen let's just keep it all the way a buck you're making plans to like go to places with me and all that people don't do that if they just want to go on a second or third date with you people do that when they want to marry you right so you're like ma you're making plans for the future like uh you know i'll help you with this i got you you know and so i was honest is what i'm trying to say back in the day i wouldn't have been honest i would have kept on going i would have uh, probably i'm just gonna say i've broken some hearts in my time but i've gotten my heart broken too but but I have to say that I've done some damage. And, I, and that's something I could admit to all of you right here. Gina, he's rushing into it. I'm going to tell you why. When a man sees that a woman is everything they've been looking for. And that man is not a little kid. He's like 40 something. And that's not old. Because to me, I'm 38, 45, 51. That's the oldest I would date. Probably like 50s. You know what I'm saying? But I like older men. Everybody does. And I do. I like them. They're responsible. They're caring. They're loving. They're nurturing. And they know how to fuck you because they've been with a bunch of bitches already. And then when you look a little bit younger than them, now they're looking at you like that's that young piece of me. And you know what I'm saying? It's exciting for them. And then it makes it exciting for you. My point is that um, it, I can admit to you that I've broken a lot of hearts and I know that I've done some serious damage to people, not only in this lifetime, but in past lifetimes and even the past life soulmates come back to try to haunt me now. And I have to like, it. If, I'm apologizing to past life lovers. Okay, just let's just be real, real clear here. I'm not just apologizing to lovers here in this dimension. I, I apologize to my past lifetime pe lovers that I hurt. I don't know if I murdered them or left them for their father or something i don't know what i did but it must have been bad for them to still be haunting me fucking ten thousand eons later you know what i'm saying it must have been bad mm. my point is hi everybody the honesty is not easy to do guys everyone knows how hard it is to be honest right which is why so many people don't do it but here's what i'm gonna tell you if you um, if you decide, yeah, Mira, um, if you decide to be honest today and you really, really don't, don't lie to people, you, you will save yourself heart, heartaches and, 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 and other people. Now here's the thing. Yeah, it's important to save other people heartaches, but you got to understand you're saving yourself heartaches because in, in, in turn of you not hurting someone, you're not taking the chance that the next person that you like doesn't do the same thing to you. So you release that karma. So you don't bring new karma. If you're working on old karma and you bring new karma into your life, into your life, you're just going to create more karma. And I'm not doing that right now. I got to keep the path clear. <clears throat> I've been working very hard to clear past karma and I'm not going to bring old karma into the relation, into the relationship with me and God and spirit or whatever. Now, I feel alone in the spiritual journey. Coming back to the title of this video, I'm learning to be more honest as I'm growing. Yes, for a fact. Listen, today I'm gonna just I'm gonna share this with you too. I went to Shoprite, right, and I bought all these things, and um, you know, I paid for some stuff here. I paid for my daughter some food. We went out, whatever, and I went to Shoprite. You know those self checkout things. Now you guys know what's my favorite number. What's my favorite number? Thirty three, right? Now. I went to ShopRite, you know those self-checkout things? I finished scanning and my credit card, I was putting the credit card and it wasn't working. I tried it again, it wasn't working. Nobody was around, I'm looking, I'm like, hello, anybody? And I'm, I said, excuse me, excuse me, nobody came. I finished scanning, I put my food all in the cart. There was, it, it came out to 33.11, Gina. The price was 33.11. That was the price, on God. And so I'm looking around for the guy and stuff and he's not coming out, my credit card's not working. 
I walked out with the food. Let me just. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> FBI agent, don't come after me. It was just fucking shop rat. I swear to God. I, I don't rob people. I swear. I'm done with that life. I promise. <laughs> right? So I walked out with it. And I was like, all right, if he comes after me, I'm like, well, I tried to use my credit card. It wasn't working. I don't know if it scanned it. I didn't want to scan it again. So I just didn't. Here's my card. Go charge it. I'm going in the car. I would have done that, but I walked out with the shit. <sighs> and I came home and I like felt so bad. Like I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I had like, why would you steal when you have a thousand dollars on you? I do have Rob shop, right? That's not the first time I've done shit like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I've done it many, 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 many times. But you know, like, I, it's bad. It's bad. It is bad. And then I sat in my room and I was like, you know, there is a right from wrong. And I did the wrong thing today and I shouldn't have done that. And for that reason, I'm sorry. <laughs> for that reason, I'm out. Like Shark Tank, right? But here's the thing. I donated money to a charity today because I felt so bad. I was like, oh, I donated. I donated. <laughs> I donated to a Muslim charity. Like uh, yesterday, 25. Today, 25. So that's $50 right there. So I was like, all right, please forgive me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Right? But like at the end of the day, there's the right thing to do. There's the wrong thing to do. Girl, the machine didn't want your money. So now here's here's the trick. I thought for a second, this must be a blessing from the universe, right? Nah, bitch. <laughs> That's not a blessing from the universe. Okay, A blessing from the universe is like, I don't know, you get a job opportunity and you wanted that forever or something or somebody like comes into your life that like is the best thing that ever happened to you those are blessings what i did today was called stealing <laughs> let's just keep it all the way above the shit is called stealing and i did that and i feel bad you know what i'm saying but at the same time i'm i'm not guilty or shameful of it and i could admit that i was wrong but i did it it is what it is right a blessing is a full lesson yes <clears throat> I don't like to talk while I'm smoking this because it's like so rough on the throat. So <clears throat> not nah, just borrowing. You could don't worry, just hide out for a week. Nah, I'm good. Ah, Gina, I will always, if I go back and they say something, I'm like, I did? Moi? <laughs> I'm like, you're right, I did. I fucked, I robbed you. But don't call the cops. Here's my card. You know what I'm saying? Charge, I don't care. Charge 50. I don't care. Charge 100. So anyway, the point is, um, I went to the nail salon and these nails right here too that you're looking at, these nails, that cost me $80, okay? Why do they look yellow right there? Because I, I don't like, I, one of the things I will not miss is my nails turning yellow from cigarettes. That shit is fine. So these nails were $80. I was like, God damn. <laughs> right? I don't care because like, like I said, I'm trying not to be cheap and like worry about money. You know what I'm saying? So Flo, you're better, sis. I would have done it too. You feel me? Sometimes, you know, sometimes even, I don't care if you make money. Listen, I would, I'm not ever ashamed of like letting people know how I live my life and do I make money and how much I make. I charge two twenty for mediumship readings on my on my website, right? And then like I have eighty dollar readings and hundred dollar readings. Sometimes I'll get two two clients a day, right? And so that could be like two hundred plus another hundred and fifty. That's you know like sometimes I can make three hundred dollars a day if I'm not lazy and I'm not like over. I don't want to over drain myself for money. So the money that I make, you got to understand also, I pay bills, I take care of my daughter. So a lot of it is saved, but a lot of it is spent, you know? So it's like 50-50, it's like balance, the balance, you know? So like, I don't live like a fabulous life. And I, I never wanted um, to pretend that. And, I, and anybody who knows me or ever watched me, I, I don't care if I had cars, stuff like that. I never, show, I never showed off. I never showed off. I was never showing off because I don't like that because I feel like there's people who don't have it and I don't want to rub it in anyone's face like, look at me, look at me, look at me. That's not the way to do life. What I would do though is motivate people and be like, oh, look, today I got my license. Not to be like, I got my license, bitch. Yes, that's not how I'm going to do this. But like, I got my license. Oh my God, I've been working for this for five years. So let's say when I get a car, for instance, if I post or show everybody I got a car, I'm not showing off. I'm letting you know. You can do it too because I had to work hard like a person, like a person, everyday life person like so people can resonate with me you know what i'm saying so people can understand it's a virgo thing exactly i'm a humble person i don't like to show off and the only thing about me is i like to look nice i do it for me though because if i walk out i don't give a fuck if nobody compliments my outfit if i look in the mirror and go yo this shit is fire i'll feel happy i don't need nobody else to but i like to look fresh i like to have nice new stuff nice new sneakers not fancy stuff I'm talking nice new sweatpants and a nice new t-shirt and a pair of sneakers. 
I'm not about that whole life. Like I get girls every day. They're like, let me send you some eyelashes. Let me micro blade your eyebrows. Let me give you laser on your face. Let me do butt uh, cellulite for free. For I say no to all of it. I'm like, look, man, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm sure everybody else would take that. Exactly, exactly, Addison. Hey, you so you see, and Ali took my Audi on my view off my page. I was mob, mobbing a Corolla for years. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to let spirit speak speak about her, about the journey. Um, so my point is like through this journey of like the spiritual awakening and like back to the why do I feel and I look up and it's the number thirty three. I can't. You can't even make this stuff up. I can't. Um and um. So through my journey, it's been, it's, so the word is not lonely. I don't want to say lonely, but feeling alone and lonely are two different things. Like feeling lonely, I would say adds, feeling lonely is like a sign of like being sad, I'm all alone. Like, but then being alone <clears throat> is like, you, you have to do it alone for a while until spirit and the universe leads you towards people who match your energy and are doing the same thing as you miss mira is so cute right and um you have to do it alone for a little bit until spirit matches you with the right energy so for instance if you have to stay away from dating for some people for me that was a big thing staying away from guys and women because because I always put people first, right? And then what happened was I would I would get it in the way of my success. So I would I would have everything going for me, and then I'd get in a relationship, and all of a sudden, stop focusing on what I was just doing, and I'm focused on this person, and they want attention, and it's just so much, right? I just it's it was it was a lot, and so I had to be alone through this journey. In the past three years of me going through this spiritual journey two or three times i've had like not random sex it was like you know someone i used to mess with and i would call them and be like what are you doing and we'd hang out and i just wanted to get laid and i did right like three times in the three years right and that's a fact and uh, two times out of it i did some toxic shit along with the sex right i did things that i wasn't supposed to do and um you know what that is i'm not gonna get into it but um Oh, my, I feel like I could cry right now. It's so weird. Because I'm burying my soul to you. That's why. And it's very strange. Um, so, and I'm, and I'm telling the truth. And I, I usually like, like, you know, hide some stuff a little bit. But I'm telling you the truth. Through this journey. And then like, especially through my spiritual enlightenment and learning about myself. And really um, doing, um, it was great, Dodge. Um doing this spiritual stuff and i'm sorry i'm gonna try not to look at the comments a lot because then i get like distracted and i want to read everybody's comments and i feel like i'm being rude when i'm not but i got i i guess i'm trying to teach like through my own experiences because that's the best thing for me because letting it out yeah thank you i just got like tickled in the crown chakra letting it out to you guys and telling you what i'm experiencing is um is going to help some people understand that you're going to go through the same things so those times that i Mm. okay those times that i did those things that i did i i did, still don't feel like bad or guilty about any of it and i will have to tell you man i'm like almost like scared to like date anybody because i'm afraid that they're gonna take away from my my um what i'm focused on right now so i honestly don't it's not that i don't want to date nobody or want, don't want to be no, with nobody but I just don't want them to take away from what what I have achieved up until now. All of the hard work I've put into what I've done up until now. I thank you, Addison. <laughs> you saying that is making me want to cry. So I feel like I'm like with a, like a friend who loves me is like just let it out, baby. I got you. Like stop. I'm like come on, no, keep me strong. So <clears throat> me saying this out loud is like a revelation for me and also for some of you too. Maybe you guys will understand what I'm what I'm trying to say. Thank you. Exactly, exactly. You are making others feel comfortable to open up as well through your life experiences flow. You are just flowing with the universe, wanting better one day at a time. My heart chakra just went off when you said that. Maybe, maybe lo lonesome rather than lonely, lo rather than alone. That's how it feels for me sometimes. Yeah, I love you too, Yedio. 
so Florence sent some positive vibes my way in the hospital on my I'm on my healing journey. Kelly, everybody send the send, send some healing positive vibes to my beautiful beautiful friend Kelly. She's amazing. She's a good person. Been rocking with me for a minute. I'm going to send you some beautiful healing energy, beautiful, beautiful healing. Archangel Raphael, go into Kelly's spirit right now and uplift her. Make her feel good. Make her feel healthy. Make her feel strong. Make her feel capable and able to get out of the situation she's in. And make sure, make sure Kelly, you keep your eye on out of that. You're not in the hospital. Say, I'm just healing. I'm recovering and I'm out of here. You're going to be okay. Keep your mind on the beautiful energy that's waiting for you outside of there. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. So what I was saying was my heart chakra is going off right now because I'm, I told, like, I feel this strongly. I have to be, um, vulnerable and I have to say, I think I just discovered something about myself. It's not that I don't want to be in love and I don't want to be with anyone. It's just I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of getting hurt because I know I can handle that, right? I'm afraid that they're going to stop me from doing what it is I came here on this earth to do because so many times, so many people have hurt had heart surgery oh my god kelly did you just hear me i said my heart chakra my heart chakra i was getting like sharp pains right here oh man that's crazy okay you're gonna be okay you're gonna recover you're gonna recover you're gonna be fine mm. kelly do some breathing like this look hold it in that's the best thing for the heart. It gets the blood pumping and flowing, okay? Unless the doctor says it's not healthy, okay? I'm not afraid of being hurt. I'm not afraid of none of that. <clears throat> I think it's more along the lines of, like, I have worked so hard to, to be here where I am right now, which is feeling good, feeling happy, positive, free. I don't masturbate. I don't have sex. And I'm okay with it. I'm literally, like, I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, I'm missing out on sex and guys and dating. I'm not. I don't feel that way. I swear to you, I don't feel that way. I'm good. Like, I'm a G. When it comes to that, I'm good. I could stay forever without that shit. And I'm good. It's just feeling alone. I'm not even talking about relationship-wise. Here's the thing. Let me break it down to you. When you're on a spiritual healing journey and when you're trying to discover who you truly are, not who I am, whatever, what do I like? Who am I? Like who what is my DNA linked to? What was I why am I here for what purpose? Hi Lori. <clears throat> yeah, I know. You told your mom I said happy birthday, right? On a thing, okay? Like what is my purpose? What am I here for? What anciently, like past lives, ancient well, what am I doing here? Why am I here? There's got to be a reason. I, there's not no, there's not no, no reason. Nobody's here for no reason. So I want to discover why. And I don't want someone to come into my life and stop me from discovering that. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid they're going to hurt me, break up with me, cheat on me. That shit I'll get over. But what if they take away what I got going on right now, which is working on myself, number one. Number two, Focusing on other people and their mental health and their love and their peace. What if they're just like mad? Like they want my attention and I love them so much that I ch I choose to give them all the attention. And I forget about everything else. I don't want that because, listen, I don't know where I'm going with this. I really, I, Zen, my darling, I love you. Thank you. Yedo, you're so beautiful. Thank you, Tori. You gotta understand. Um, your spirit shows great stuff naturally. Like eating ice is a great is great not to get any bad evil or the double eye from someone. Really, I eat ice constantly, twenty four seven a day. Who says that? Mira, where's that come? Is that actually a thing? Because that would be crazy if it is. That I love ice, and so does my daughter. We love it. How can you find out your ancestry DNA? See, my ancestry DNA. It wouldn't even tell me who I truly am because I want to know spiritually who I am. I know who I am here. I'm Albanian. I'm linked to Macedonia. I'm probably Cleopatra's fucking cousin because I saw the bitch in my dreams like several times. I don't know, but I could figure that out. But spiritually, I want to know who I am. Who was I? I know I was something big like in one past life where 
something big happened because um, I don't know something with water and the fear of the ocean and I don't know something like the big it was big right or something big happened where I don't know I was I don't know murdered or something I don't know something big like that I can't tell you exactly what but my spirit where's my who's my spirit like I could find out who I am as a person it's very simple but my spirit is so Hyanna I understand I feel alone too a lot but here's the thing though I'm never alone though because around me is see see the thing is you don't I know we don't see them and some and for some you don't hear them and but you do you hear them you feel them you can see them in your dreams and feel their energy your spirit guides loved ones who passed on your ancestors your star seed and I just saw like energy fly right by me there's all types of spirit that support you and guide you and they know your spirit they know who you are like in the spiritual world so they're guiding you for a specific reason to do a specific thing and so i have no friends either i but here's the thing what's what it what is the word friends is it like a specific um i don't know what is friends right what is friends like somebody you can hang out with all day somebody you go shopping with but then again like i don't have friends but i have many soulmates and i think that's better than just having one friend or like two friends i have thousands and thousands of soulmates people that i connect to on a soul level does that make sense or am i that's good and i like it too mira a lot and you see what i'm saying soul tribe soulmates people that i connect to that i've never met and so i'd rather have thousands of spiritual soulmates in the spirit world in this world in the in the galaxies in the universe then have like a couple of friends that i could turn to because guess what when i'm laying in my bed and i'm talking to myself i'm not really talking to myself i'm talking to spirit around me or or my spirit guys and they're listening to my thoughts and they're always contacting me and communicating with me and they're also doing it with you and every single one of us and so speaking to them makes me feel better i don't feel lonely when i do that i don't feel lonely and the word lonely i don't even let it get to me anymore so when I was laying here on my bed tonight and I was crying for the world and I was being the empath that I was, it, it picks at me heavily when people just don't understand your level of awareness, especially when it comes to being woke and connected to the higher power. They always think you're crazy and overthinking. You believe when I go out traveling for, for too long, my spirit keep it in the house to clean all the bad energy? I believe it. It happens to me all the time. Um, Mira, you are so linked to something huge, powerful. Um, <clears throat> Ricker, Rick, Rick. You said um, all that stuff, and I want to tell you, I was talking about that the other night. Do not ever, ever try to make people understand your journey because they can't. Can I just say, let me put it to you this way, okay? Trying to explain to someone what it feels like to, okay. Trying to explain to someone what you're experiencing spiritually while you're on your journey of being the so-called woke or or understanding spirit or your higher power are you listening um um, um excuse me um uh rick trying to explain to someone what your spiritual journey is like and how you feel every day and what it feels like is like trying to explain to a blind person what the color red looks like how do you explain to someone who's been blind their whole life has never seen a single color or anything what the color red looks like. Can you explain to a blind person what the color red looks like? You can explain what a tree looks like. Like, okay, so there's like these things, they come out like all over the place. Like, can you imagine in your mind like these spikes just coming out of everywhere and then like these these like leaves they're falling down and they feel like you can make them feel it right you can make them feel it. you can't make somebody feel the color red you can't be like this this is what the color red feels like you could say it, it feels like passion like excitement like fire you know but they still don't know what fire looks like you feel me so don't ever in your life as you're spiritually trying to enlighten yourself and fi figure out who you are ever expect anyone to fully understand your journey even people who are going through the same quote unquote air quote journey will still not understand your specific journey because it is absolutely different for every single person that goes through it 
right? So, but here's the thing. We can connect and resonate on things that are happening. So like, for instance, when I tell people, I go through this and I go through that, they click with a lot of things that I say. But there's certain things they're like, what? You, you, you see that? How do you see it? How do you, what does it feel like? What do you feel? You know, they'll want to know, but they want to know because they're trying to get to that level, right? Or whatever the levels are, because I don't even know what's the highest level or the lowest level, but I do know that you do ascend slowly, slowly but surely, because when, <clears throat> when I first started doing this very psychic stuff, right? Intuitive. And it was like a knowing. And then it was like, it went from that to like, smelling things or or seeing visions to like and then from there to like hearing thoughts in my head and thinking I was crazy and then I had to realize that really that's my <clears throat> that's my inner guidance that's my got spirit guides giving me the answer that I'm looking for and when I tell someone this and then just recently I've been working for two for a year straight a year straight two three years doing this a year straight <clears throat> to get to the point where I can figure a name out like age, dates, stuff like that. And I just did it. Not yesterday. Ooh, okay. I just did it. Not yesterday, the day before. I got to that point. Because I didn't quit and I kept going. And I didn't say I can't do it. I don't know if I could do this. I don't I just kept saying, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out little by little. So from there, today I saw cop lights. My friend got hit today and saw two cops ten minutes later. <clears throat> You see what I'm saying? So, when you're going through this journey, it's up to you where you want to go with it. But you got to set that mind and like keep it there. Like, no matter what comes to the right or what comes from the left, you have to continue to, to keep your eye on the prize, they say, right? Eye on the prize. I have to constantly tell myself, flow, flow. I know you want to have fun. I know you want to go out. I know you want to sometimes party and chill, right? But you got to keep your focus to where it is. <clears throat> you have to remain focused. Hi, new follower. Lesbian 3385. Love it. Yes. Hi, baby. Welcome to the Angel Squad um, team members. We all got each other's back in here. <clears throat> we love you already. And we're glad to get to know you. Anytime you see me live, you join us and we're always connecting and communicating here. Okay, Addison. My kids are going crazy. She's like, all right, well, they're fucking bugging. Mm. All right, so give the kids a kiss for us. Keep that discipline, right? Um, <clears throat> it's And it can feel lonely. It could feel lonely, but take the word lonely out. So like being alone is, is helping you discover who you are. Like... Isaac Newton, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, many, many, many um, highly what we call intelligent and very. Oh, wow. Mira, I'm talking. What did I just say to you? You're, bitch, you are connected to something. When I come visit you, oh, my heart's pounding. Um, like it's going to be so magical. But here's the thing. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so it can feel lonely and you can feel alone, but try to take the lonely side out of it. And remember that Nikola Tesla, um, I have Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, who's my favorite, per my personal favorite. I love his 369 theory. You know, when you want, when you think of the universe, think in, think in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency, okay? And that's what they say. The Holy Trinity, that's what they say. You know the Holy Trinity, like the Holy Trinity? That's what they say it is. Energy, frequency, vibration. Energy, frequency, vibration. That's the Holy Trinity. energy frequency vibration because if you think like that and he did in the 369 category right hi everybody i know oh, thank you yet i love you we, i love you guys too man with all my fucking heart i pray every day that i could do something am amazing for every single person in the world but you know i don't pressure myself either whatever happens happens i i just want to help people little by little okay mm. Why is it kicking you off, Lori? Okay. If I'm in recovery, yes, I am. I am. I, I, it's not recovery. I will have to say I just choose not to do drugs and alcohol because I'm retarded when I do. Like, I'm not I'm not the normal average Joe. Like, I can't go out on a weekend and just do one bag of Coke. It's going to be like 10, 15 bags. And then I'm going to be up for a night or two and then sleep it off for two weeks. So 
I stay away from drugs and alcohol. Um, I have an addictive personality, you know, I, but I've never like, I can never say that I, I like, I, I honestly, I guess you could say I'm, re I'm recovery from that, but like I'm on a healing journey, journey more, um, I'm on a healing journey more than like a recovery. So it's all together. Like it's all mixed together. Like I, I would say that I have an addictive personality, but I would say that I have the type of personality that if I get into the dark side, I can stay there. So I have to remain in the light. So remaining in the light means not dabbling in anything dark. Okay. So I gotta stay away from all um, things that are dark. Okay. Um, all things that are dark so whatever to me so whatever's dark to me whatever becomes dark to me right because you know to some people doing coke on a friday night and drinking is not dark it's just fun and it's a great time they go home and they go to sleep but for me of course i'm, I'm always going to be open with what i what i what i've experienced but for me it's it turns into something dark like i i tend to put like drugs and alcohol into situations and they get deep and dark and it's just i end up just being stupid like I spend a lot of money, I do stupid shit, and I'm like, the next day I'm like, oh man, why the fuck did I do that? You know what I'm saying? I don't need that shit in my life. I want to wake up every day with a clear conscience, and I don't like feeling hangovers and all that. You know, <clears throat> it's dark, but they haven't admitted it. You're absolutely right, Hyena. Mm. Bye, Hyena. So perpetual for me, it's very, very important for me to stay away from that type of stuff. It's Percocet, all that stuff. It started off as fun, like, yay, I'm having some fun, and then it just got dark for me. So I have to stay away from that stuff, and I have to stay away from people who do it. Um, So I don't, I can't even, honest, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I can't even, like, go to bars and clubs, because when I go, if somebody's drinking, I'll drink with them, and then when I drink alcohol, that leads me directly to cocaine, like, directly. <laughs> like, if I'm drunk, see, here's the thing, I could be with friends and have, like, a drink or two and go straight home if everybody's just going home and... That's the plan for the night. But if we're at a club, I'm not leaving, girl. Haha, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> but if we're at a club, let's say we're at a club and I bring a bunch of girls with me, I will tell them, don't let me get drunk because I will go looking for cocaine. Now, here's the thing. Not because I'm such a bad drug addict that I have to have cocaine, but the thing is I don't like the feeling of being drunk. But so what does cocaine do? It levels you out. So I don't like feeling down. So I want to go back to up. So I go searching for the thing that brings me up. And then and now I'm sniffing coke in the bathroom all night long. <laughs> so, you know, it's just I know to stay away from stuff like that. It actually is the best part about me is I know myself and I know that I'm crazy and I know that I have crazy in me. And so I stay away from, you know. If we're at a club, it's lit, but here's the thing. If I'm at a club with people who care about me and they're just like flow, like, you know, have a drink or two, but if they see me like drinking, I don't get like that anyway. I'm not sloppy. Like, I don't do none of that. Nobody will ever make me stop because I don't act with a fool. I'm always on point with everything. But the thing is, if, I'm, I, if I go a place, I go with people, people who care about me and they'll be like... Like, they'll watch me and they'll be like, mm, don't do it, flow, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll pop a fucking E in a heartbeat and not feel bad. Oh my God, I was clean for a year. Now I got to count the days. I don't do that counting days shit, the NA shit. I can't because when I count days of how many days I was clean, guess what? I celebrate. Oh, it's been a, it's been 80 days. Now I can do something. You feel what I'm saying? I can be super lit without any of it. I, I'm more lit with, listen, here's what you need to understand. People did or do drugs to get lit. Listen to what I'm saying. So you can understand my energy. People did drink or do alcohol or do drugs. Do alcohol or do... Because alcohol is a drug. Remember, people who drank alcohol or, or did drugs, they did it to get lit. I did it to get unlit. To unlit. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I did it to get unlit, which means that I was always so... Go, go, go. That when I did drink or did coke, it would calm me down. And I'd be in the corner like, I'm just going to sit here and just be quiet for a little and not talk and not try to fucking to listen to nobody and just dull. And my brain is on constant. What's the word? It's in constant. I don't want to say the wrong word because I don't want to um curse myself like that. My brain is in constant 
wondering it wonders it thinks why is this like that what is that doing what's that why is that like that what is it all that? it's not worried it's just constant wanting to know it's the the hunger for more knowledge and wanting to know and so no matter where i am and what i'm doing um when i'm sober and i'm not, i'm myself i'm looking around to see who needs me is she okay and i'll notice girls from across the room and they look like they're in trouble, you know, like they look like they're too drunk. There's a guy grabbing them. And here I go, Captain save a dun -da -da -da, across the bar. Are you okay, ma? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, come with me real quick. And the, the guy's like, where are you going with her? She's chill. I'm like, oh, yeah, wait one second. It's my cousin. I got to talk to her for a second. And I'll take her to the bathroom, give her water. Sometimes there's been times I met a strange girl, like a stranger, and she's drunk. And I would, I, I remember this one time I took my finger and shoved it down this girl's throat, and I was forcing her to throw up. And I was like making her drink water, and then I was shoving my finger down her throat, and she was throwing up, throwing up, and then I was giving her water, and making her throw up. Um, I could definitely notice a broken man from 100 miles away too. And here's the thing. I usually ended up trying to fix them too in a way where I gave them attention and love, you know. But today I do it in a way where if I notice them looking down or whatever, I'll go talk to them. They look like the guy who's like nobody's talking to them. They look sad or whatever. I'll go up to them like, what's up? Like, that's me. So when I used to drink and even now, if I like, it's just so hard for me to remember i'm a psychic i'm empathic i'm intuitive i'm a medium i cannot get somewhere or go somewhere without noticing somebody who who looks sad or down and once i do i'm going to try to save them like for the night at least for the night and i've done it so many times where i remember i can remember specifically this one guy he was in we were at a club all his boys had like girls around them and all and he was just in the corner like just sitting there with a drink and he was like you could see it in his eyes he was like nobody ever wants to talk to me i'm ugly i'm fat like he felt very insecure and so i went across the room and i sat next to him and i was like it's boring here right and i just like you know acted like i wasn't feeling bad for him like i didn't notice i was i just sat down next to him and i was like you bored i was like i'm bored and he was like, oh, yeah, I was like, me too. And then we talked all night and I was telling him stuff and I was like, you look good and like, you look great and you're a good person. You have a good heart. You're cute. You got cute dimples. Your lips are nice. Like the whole time I sat there for like, I'm not kidding you, for like two hours just complimenting him and making him feel good about himself until the point where he stood up and got in the middle of the dance floor, grabbed this girl and started dancing with her and he had a great time. And guess what? I spent that two hours doing that and then I went back to my friends. They're like, where were you? I was like, I was talking to somebody over there. And then I just got, got back in my vibe and everybody's dancing and I'm sitting there like, I'm watching him from across the room and just feeling like a proud mom. Like, go oh, baby, get her, get some pussy boo boo, get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a fact, that's happened. There's been so many times that I've been tripping on E myself. I'm, and this is a fact. I have to tell true stories because why not? You know, why would I not? Um, I've been like high on E or something, right? And then, then then there'll be that one girl and she'll be tripping on E. And this is a long time ago, but still like um, when I talk about this stuff, my body like tickles a little bit. But I have to say um, I'll be tripping on E and then there'll be that one girl. She'll be tripping on E and or Molly and she starts having like a bad trip. And everybody's like, come on, bro, shut the fuck. Yo, you killing the vibe. And I'd be the one fuck up my own high completely. And I'd be mad too because I just came out. Like I don't go out often. I'm out here trying to take a Molly and chill, but this bitch is tripping. I got somebody gotta help her. She's gonna fucking die over here. Like if I don't so I remember that this I remember that one girl. I grabbed her and I put her in the bathroom. Now everybody's having fun. They're like, yo, come out the bathroom. And I came out. I remember I came out like a beast. I opened the door. I was like, yo, what you fucking see? She's sick, motherfucker. I was like, back the fuck up. Like, and he was like, all right, damn. And he left, like, chill. She's tripping in there. Yo, let's go. Let's be out. And they like, you know, they left or whatever. And there were like two people left there, you know, when we're having a party at somebody's house or something. And they, and I'm in the bathroom with her and I grabbed her and I turned the cold water on because she was tripping. She's like, I'm burning up. When to go to the hospital i was like ma just sit down for one second i got you i'm right here with you look at me sitting with her in her eyes i'm tripping myself bitch i'm like look i got you listen to me look at me hold on just look at me in the eyes it's okay you're just tripping you know what i'm saying i'm tripping my mouth is moving back and forth right and i threw her in a cold ass shower and she was like ah! i was like stay there stay there stay there she came out the shower. Listen, I wiped her down, gave her clothes to wear, took her out. 
and she felt like a brand new person. And I stood in that bathroom where probably, I don't know how long it was because I was tripping myself, probably like two, three hours. So she felt better and I didn't even complain about it the next day. I was happy I was there because if not, they would have left her outside to die. I can't do shit like that. I don't care how high I am. I'm going to focus on if everybody else is okay. But this is why I don't do things like that no more. It's like dangerous to be in situations like that, you know? Um, so cold water does wonders milk as well milk is another thing if you ever with around somebody honestly guys if you ever see someone tripping on something don't judge them try to help them like do something you know at least give them some water or even call the ambulance i don't give a fuck don't be afraid to because don't let nobody die on your ass or get hurt you know because you're too scared to help them right don't be afraid like sometimes if you're looking at a person and you turn away and something happens to them that's like you right there yeah i did i really did she's not the first person i've saved i've saved girls from getting raped in clubs i could see a girl all mad drunk and the guy's carrying her and i was like oh that's my cousin hold on one second i would play it the fuck off like that's my cousin you found her i've been looking for her all night and they're like what nah nah and i'm like get get off of her bro before i call the cops like some shit like that it's, i remember when i was in la the girl the lady from the housewives of orange county her say which one did you just see my butt <laughs> did you just see my butt <laughs> the lady from the real housewives of orange county i'm not gonna say which one but i will tell you that her daughter was in a is that was in the club and these two guys were like grabbing her and i grabbed i don't know who she was i grabbed her i grabbed her up and i was like that's my cousin let her, let her go let her go and they were like nah bitch she ain't your cousin and i one of the kids he was mad skinny i pushed that motherfucker so far across the mother but i was like Phew. he's like he fell back he when i tell you i pushed him far he did like a superman matrix move he went from one side of the bar to the other and i grabbed her and i like pulled her and I brought her and she was, I was like, where's, where are your car keys? Where's your car? She's like, it's outside the white BMW, white BMW. And I'm like, okay. And I'm looking for her car and I have the bitch in my arm. I'm holding her up. Remember how I held Annie up the stairs like that? I held her up, um, number 33. This was in LA. And I hold her up and I'm walking and I find, I click the car. I finally see her car. I put her in her car. She had like a nice ass BMW. Fucking money in her purse was falling out. I put, shoved the money back in her purse and closed it, right? and put her in the passenger side i grabbed her wallet and i looked at her address <clears throat> and i drove to the address i didn't have no way to get back i was gonna have to pay a cab or something right i took the i took her to her house i put the gps in put her took her to her house rang on the doorbell ding dong hi i'm so sorry to bother you is this your daughter and the lady was i was like and my eye my eyes like i didn't want to act like i knew who she was but in my head i was like this is the bitch from the real housewives of Orange County. <laughs> I was like, I was like, um, this is your daughter, right? And she, uh, I was like, this is her address. Um, sh she was with two guys in the club. It was looking like it was gonna get bad, so I don't know her. But I put all her money back in her purse, her her stuff, her wallet, everything is there. I made sure her phone is there. Everything's good. Yo, this lady was like, please, thank you so much. Come inside. Thank you. Th I was like, no, no, listen, just get her inside. I was like, can you just do me one favor? Call a cab for me. She was like, hold on one second. And then she called like the black limo people, like I guess her driver. She was like, you, anywhere you want to go. I don't give a shit where you want to go. Any state, just go. And I was like, I was like, have a good night. And she was like, thank you so much. I was like, you're welcome. And then the girl, she called me the next day. She was like, Flo. My mom told me who you are. You're from that show, The Bad Girls Club. And I want to say thank you, yo. I love you, first of all, on the show. Like, she was, you know, saying things like that. But then I guess she was just trying to, like, compliment me as much as she can at that point. And she was like, thank you so much. You saved my life. Like, I don't know who those guys were. I rem Oh, the last thing I remember is the two guys grabbing me and trying to bring me into their car. And they were telling me, where's your purse? Where's They were trying to steal my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... Like, you know, I've done that so many times, though. Like, to me, it was like nothing. I don't understand. Like, when people are like, you did that? I'm like, yeah. I've, you know how many times I've done that? I've seen girls, they look like they were in trouble. Even guys, too. Like, they look like they're about to get in a fight. And I saved them. Like, babe, come here. I remember this one. You know, I have so many stories like that. But it's not the point. It's the point is when spirit leads me to them, I go right to I don't even question. Am I going to get hurt? Somebody going to do? What if he punches me? He punches me in the face. Oh, well, I'll get right back up. And I'll be like, oh, hell no. Now we fighting. You know what I'm saying? So many times. There been, there's been guys that, like, literally, you know when they look like they're about to start fighting with someone? I would not 
out to them. I remember this one skinny kid. I put my arm around him. I was like, babe, come on. We're over there. And he looked at me like, I was like, yo, let's just go. Let's go. You're, yo, you're about to get fucked up. They're looking at you like they're going to fight you. And I walked him across the bar. And I got, that guy was like, yo, you lucky. Your bitch took you away. We were about to fuck you up. And he was like, he looked back. I was like, just keep walking. Because, you know, he was small. So I'm like arming him like this. I'm like, let's go. Because those motherfuckers look like they wanted to kill him. Whatever he was doing, he was drunk. And he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Being an idiot, talking to guys that were gangster and about to knock him out. And I took him all the way across the thing. You know what I'm saying? And I saved him. I saved his life. I sat down with him. I was like, yo, you're drunk. Just sit here. Every time he would get up, I'll grab his skinny ass. And I'll, I was pulling him back to the shit. I was like, sit the fuck down. You're going to get your ass beat. And I was like, yo, you know what? I was like, and I was about to give up on him. And then I saw some kid. He was like, yo, where the fuck you been? I was like, yo, bro. I was like, your boy was about to get his ass beat. You need to leave. And he was like, what? What happened? And I told him the story. He was like, yo, thank you, ma. Good looking. He gets like this, man. See, that's why we don't bring him. No, I was like, yo, just make sure he's home. You know what I'm saying? No, I wasn't scared of getting myself hurt because I, I've been protected my whole life. I, it's been very rare. If I've gotten into a fight, it's been because I wanted to. If I, if I know how to avoid fights very easily. I can make somebody from wanting to fight me be my best friend within the next two seconds. I'll say some shit like, why you want to fight me? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Come on, I'll buy you a drink and you can talk about this. If you don't like me after the drink, you could, you could, I'll let you be my ass. How about that? And then the girl will be like... All right. You know what I'm saying? I've had that happen a lot. But then there was like one specific time. I don't really, I never really fought outside like that because I was, I just don't, I don't like fighting. I want to get along. <laughs> what would it be about, King? <laughs> Think about that for a second. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it would just be like, no, <laughs> no, because it would be, it wouldn't be about anything. I don't know. Like, really, what would it be about? <laughs> Two crazy Albanians walking a bar. <laughs> Again. Mm. If you guys watch Bad Girls Club, obviously, you'll see that. Why did I get mad most of the time? It's because when we went out, the girls made us fight people or they drew attention to us. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it. Okay, hey, I just... That's their journey. You know what I'm saying? I don't have an opinion. It's just like, whatever. If you notice, the main reason I would get mad is because we would go out and they'd make me look stupid to other people. And, and I don't enjoy that. You know, you're, you're, I'm with you guys. You're, you're a reflection of me. Which is why when I go out with people on a regular, I'm like, yo, don't embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say I take somebody to do a podcast interview. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to be like, yo, you need to act right. When we get in there, just sit in the corner, act mature and responsible like a business person. Don't embarrass me. And I'll tell him straight up. They're like, what do you mean don't embarrass you? I'm like, exactly like that. Don't embarrass me. If somebody says something, just mind your business. Stay out of it. Like, you're here to support me and that's it. Don't talk for me ever in your life. Because I know what to say way before you. I've gotten us... I've gotten us, I've gotten mad people out of situations with police, situations with mad situations. I've gotten out of it through here, through, through the power of knowing how to speak to people and feeling their energy and knowing what to say to stop them from bugging out. I have gone up to gangster men who were about to fight somebody I knew and the way I spoke to them stopped them from wanting to fight them. Why? Because I feel their energy and I'm like, all right, this motherfucker's on level 100 right now. I got to bring him down to level 50. From level 50, I'll bring him all the way down. Go up to them like, it's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I know he's he's stupid. He's crazy. You just don't pay attention to him. Like, I will say something that makes him feel like he's the man. He's the shit because it's ego right now. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just, don't, I, I, I'm doing this with, through energy. People don't read each other's energy and so they attack, immediately attack. They don't understand somebody, I can tell when somebody's had a bad day and then they came out and it's turning into a bad night. I can tell that. Like the whole day's been fucked up and they're just dragging it towards the night, right? Because I do it through energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know I perpetual. It's crazy. Um, And so, you know, I've, I, I've learned a lot, man, through lessons and through doing things in life. Like I've had a lot of different experiences, but here's the thing. And then, and through the spiritual journey, again, I feel alone in the spiritual journey. I'm gonna go back to that real quick because through all of that, I've learned a lot of lessons. And then here I am today right now. I remember all those times I was here, there, everywhere. And, you know, even though surrounded by so many people, it was still lonely. So, but today I'm not lonely. I'm alone. It's a difference. That's my point, right? So at the end of the day, 
people scared for me, even police, I swear. <laughs> so even um, even at the end of the day, I'm just telling you, I believe you, Mero. Trust me, everything you say, don't think I don't believe you. I believe every, every word you're saying, which is why you're drawn to me, because powerful people are drawn to me. So if you think something good about me, congratulations, you think that about yourself too. Because uh, <clears throat> we mirror each other, and we look up to and like the people that remind us of us secretly. And even though you don't see yourself that way, that's who you are energetically. You feel me? Understand what I'm trying to say to you. So your favorite celebrity is you have their qualities. And so you like the way they are because you wouldn't like them if you didn't want to be like that. Right. Or you didn't want to um, have that kind of energy. So if you like something about me, congratulations, you like that about yourself. So we all love each other and we lo all love ourselves. So it's a beautiful thing, right? <clears throat> Thank you, Taurus. So what I'm saying is, whoa, whoa, hi. Oh, my hi <laughs> oh my god i just saw oh, I... how can i explain it oh oh my god what was that? That was like a white light that came out like this and it shot out and it was right on top of my head, right here. I just, I just, wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Listen. Not an orb. It was like a spark of, I can explain it to you. Like, um, it looked like two white things, like, like almost like it looked like wings, but it wasn't. It was like a spark and it was big like this. It went like, let's say a firework was lit and it was sparkly here and it just went like that. Like that's what it, right here, like right on top of my, there's so much energy flowing around me right now. I can see. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on right now, but this is just. <sighs> wow, I feel so peaceful right now. Okay, so I think somebody wants to communicate with me. So what I'm gonna do is um, end this live because um, I feel like someone just entered my room. I'm gonna almost say like they just came here. And I just heard in my head, I need to speak to you. So, okay, I'm going to, yeah, it was three, three, four, two, two now. Okay, so I'm going to um, end this live and let you guys know what I experienced and what's going on exactly here. But it was like somebody just came into like, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to go and then I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you guys later and let you know what happened. But so don't feel alone in this journey. You have your spirit guides, you have your angels, you have support in the spiritual realm as well as the 3D world. Look for your community, look for your community, look for the people that are, they vibrate with your energy and know that you are safe and you are protecting, you are guided. And I feel the most loving energy right now. I'm going to go, you guys, before it fades away. So, because I want to see if they're communicating with me. I feel like so peaceful. It's, I think everything I spoke about tonight was like me being truthful and vulnerable. And that's what they've been waiting for. And here we go. I did it. I love you guys. Good night. I will let you know what happened. Okay. Good night.